we're about to do some drafting today. We're going to warm up with some quick draft outlaws at Thunder Junction. Let's get into it. Let's see what our rare is. Okay, Wily Duke is a good one. It's in colors we like. It uh, becomes tap, gain life, draw a card. Kind of, kind of busted. I think you kind of have to go for this. I also like a uh, Ruthless Lawbringer. It'd be cool to try out one of those decks. Oh, every moment's a Midwest emo moment. The Prosperity Tycoon is also just a decent card. But, you know, we got a rare that is good, so we're going to take it. Okay, the Prairie Dog is also pretty decent. Rewards you from for basically holding your mana and playing instance. We have the Mesa for fixing. Skull Duggery's okay. Varmint's okay. I think it's just a Prairie Dog or going into black for removal, but, I mean, we, we really want to play this white-green rare. It's definitely what I am feeling. Ooh, we got a Krom. Oh, my God, I'm going to Krom. Um... Bridled Bighorn is pretty decent, too. It seems like this uh, white is kind of open, too, with the, the murder. I'm thinking Hard Bristle Brandit is not that important for this the white-green deck, but I think maybe just having a mount and hopefully getting some... Oh, hopefully getting Throw from the Saddle, which is what I was about to say. So we have got one. I think we just picked that right off the bat. Jolene, another Throw from the Saddle, and Festering Gulch. I think I just take saddle again can you thunder my junction that is not okay um i think we're gonna be between giant beaver and snakeskin veil i think snakeskin veil we might find later down the line just take a full steam ahead i kind of don't like any of the options here buried in the garden really good deputy we kind of don't like target creature can't block this turn i mean that could be something um, maybe I'll just take a Deputy because I don't see myself playing any of these cards. Yeah, nothing in our colors is showing up here. Um, hmm. Fake Your Own Death is just a solid card. We'll take Oasis Gardener out of everything here. Pylons is pretty good. I like Pylons. That's Jin's Fool. Okay, our rare is Marchesa, Dealer of Death. Three color card, not really in any scheme that we're currently working towards. I think Shepherd of Clouds is going to be pretty good. Return target permanent mana value three or less from your graveyard to your hand. Return that card to the battlefield instead of you control a mount, which we are trying to build towards. So I think that's our top end. We have another Prairie Dog and a Cac Tarantula. I think we can like splash for something like Badlands Revival. I think that would be pretty solid. Hmm. Yeah, it's a hard pick between Prairie Dog and the Badlands Revival. We don't have too many good two drops yet, so I kind of wanted to just secure the Prairie Dog. Speaking of two drops, we just got Miriam. I think that's worth taking. Ooh, the Outcaster Greenblade versus third throw from the saddle. Ooh, trained Erinx is also really good here. Uh, really put it into your hand. I feel like we want trained erinx more but just like the stability of like hitting your land drop is pretty important that's a really tough pick i think i'm gonna go with the outcaster and hope to get another erinx on the wheel i'm thinking i'm, be I'm between snakeskin veil and the forlorn flats because we definitely want some uh deserts to pick up i think i think we're like pretty Pretty nicely streamlined. Uh, Rise, not really what we want. Boombox is okay. Bandits Hall is kind of okay. Another mount is decent here. I'll just take a green mount. Spine Wars Armadillo is insane. Um, we have Commando, we have Steer Clear, and we have Jolene Plundering, Plundering Pugilists. Four power... Attack, make a treasure. Sacrifice a treasure, deal one damage to any target. Um, I don't know. The Free Strider works with the Prairie Dog a little bit more. Kind of. It's, it's really hard to say. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I need to go really off-color here. Uh, I'm just going to pick a card that I have not picked yet out of these. We have the Bluffs. Plus one plus one, plus one, another target creature I control. 
I think I really like this at my I like my other five drop slots a little bit more. The flying is kind of nice, but I feel like that's gonna wheel. Or I, I might wheel it in a later pack. Okay, pack three. Breaches is the rare. Not really for us. Take up the shields are good. Brambling possum is also good. Attacks while saddled, put a plus one on target. Creature that saddled it. Um, do we yeah, we do have a snake skin veil. We have snake skin. We have plenty of three drops. I guess we can upgrade our three drop slot and hope that some of these take the shields take up the shields wheel. Let's see, we have lassoed by the law. We also have Frontier Seeker. Look at the top five cards. Reveal a mount or a planes card. Seems really good, but I think lassoed by the law is just gonna be better for just for longer grindier games. Kinda want the land as well. It's a kind of a rough one. The stubborn burrow fiend. From saddle for the first time each turn, mill, mill two cards. So X is number of creature cards in your graveyard. The Burrow Fiend is also really good. I think I take Burrow Fiend just as one of the best two drops over um, Throw from the Saddle. Owl Alchemist is also kind of crazy. Okay, our two drops are looking really good now. I think splashing for like black for back for more is really nice with the Conduit Pylons, which is about a field surveil. Mm, I think I need the... So right now I only have one... I guess I have two black sources. But I really want the Conduit Pylon for any kind of intense splash I can get here. So I think it's safer to just take Pylons. And then pick all the best cards that I can find. I think it just has to be a Dance of the Tumbleweeds. I'm not sure if we'll play it. Ankle Biter is kind of okay. I don't know if our deck particularly wants it. There's not really much else that we could want here. Gold Rush and Snakeskin's Veil. For each treasure. I'm kind of in for like this more aggressive card. Having two Snakeskin Veil seems pretty decent though. Alchemist. When it becomes plotted. So that's a sorcery speed trample gain. Hmm. Really interesting. Let's take a gold rush. Both of the take up the shields wheel. Skewer. I guess Sterling Hound is like really the only thing here. Steer clear. Not too big of a fan. We can take Grizzly or we can take Jolene. I'll probably just take the saddle creature. Take the mount. Okay. Those are our picks. We're going to go into the deck building right now. I feel like we should not have to do too much work here. Um, Prairie Dogs are just okay. I think... Both throw from the saddles. Miriam. Wily Duke. Buried in the garden for sure. Pylons. I mean, they're just kind of solid in my opinion. Pylons is kind of rough in an opening hand when you have like Miriam, but you know, she's our only two drop that requires two different colors. Probably Spine Woods. Giant Beaver is kind of rough to get around. Mm, five mana, five five. I don't know if Dance of the Tumbleweeds is something we definitely want in this deck or not. Right now we have only four mounts, so we gotta the rest of these cards basically have to be mounts. Full steam ahead could win me some games. Okay, we basically take all the took all the creatures you control green trample and turn saddle one. Let's see, Spinewood's Paladin. Spinewood's Paladin's still pretty good. Let's see. The 
curve looks the curves looking nice. However, let's take a look at our creature to non-creature here and see if we can get the finisher that is the full steam ahead worked out in here somewhere. Most of these cards are just kind of better than the full steam ahead. I think I'll be one for wanting them easily enough. How many mounts do we have now? We have six mounts. Is there any more mounts that we're not throwing in the deck right now? We have this in red. And it's kind of, we just have two red mounts that we're not playing. Uh, but I think this is, a, I think this is solid enough to just go into the games. Yeah, this is super solid. Uh, getting a mount would have been a little bit better, but that's totally fine by me. Now, do we lead with Miriam or do we lead with Prairie Dog? Put one or more on creature, put that many plus. I think we can go with Miriam first here. Especially because we have a fight spell as well. Fourth land, not mad at it, but we just need to get some interaction after here. Trained Erinx. Okay. Let's see if they got anything for us. Holding an extra green for Snakeskin Veil is probably going to be pretty good here. Okay. Opponent has a lot of bodies on the field. And they will be able to saddle in first strike attack. We can... Yep, sure. Revealed cards. They got the Burrow Fiend. Looks like we're playing very similar decks. No block. Hmm. Do we need a Y? No, we probably need a green. We have the Beaver. Hmm. Again, deals, deal, deals damage equal. Okay. I think we just go for it. 4-3. Um, attack for 4. I don't think you would want to block that, but sure. And then we have a Snakeskin Veil in case they try making us really go down on creatures. Okay, the Horn, sure. You get two damage in. I think it's a, I think it's an easy attack here, but sure. This is not instant speed. Plot for four is kind of nice. Also putting this down. This is not an instant speed ability. But we're also going down on being able to protect this at the same time. Um, never attack. Okay. So as long as it's your turn, mounts and vehicles have hexproof. Whenever a mount or vehicle you control attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter. So I think setting this up with Aloe Alchemist is going to be a little bit better for us. They have, like, not a good attack with Bridled Bighorn anymore, but... A throw from the saddle can really change that. Oh, they have no green mana right now, which is interesting. What did they just plot? Stagecoach security. Plus one, plus one vigilance. Okay. Um, they have no good attacks. I think they have to pass here. I think this is where the tempo, like, starts being in our favor. Ooh, gain a life and draw a card. Very nice. Um, so we're going to crew with this dude. Draw a card. Just hit a land, which is okay. We can surveil. Um, I suppose that's not bad. Sure, we can leave that on top. They can see that. Um, I th think we just line up a really good attack here. Because they're going to have Vigilance anyway. And I don't think they have the answer for it right now. Um, whenever I'm under real intro text, but what's going on? Okay, so next. So yeah, that's eight, eight damage worth of trample and it's vigilance. Sure. They're going to, their, their attack is still not going to be very, like, that good. When it comes to the stagecoach security, they did just get their green source. 
a little wacky. I am, I feel like in this format, not holding your snakeskin veil is usually spells disaster. Okay. Everyone gets plus one vigilance. You still have bad attacks, but if they attack, they probably have something good in hand. Kind of scary. It's a kind of scary one. What you got? Okay, sure, Grizzly. Could have played that later. They, they have a large board. I think our advantage is going to be pretty big. I have five mana just for Spinewood's Paladin. I really don't think it's worth them attacking here. Okay, they've, they've decided they're going to attack. What for two mana are they going to have? Yeah, okay, they don't. They just kind of tapped on their own guy, which is not great. We have Grizzly. Whenever it attacks, everything will get Trample. Hmm. Do I have any other way to tap Wily down? So this will attack as a 6-6. Six, six. I can make it into a 7-7, seven, seven, which will still die to these things, but maybe that is... Maybe that's just good enough. It has, it has Vigilance, so... Let's let's crew to draw a card. I guess I could have done it off the Grizzly. That might have been a little bit better. We have was that six mana? So that's enough to play this and uh, hold up Snakeskin Veil, which I think is fine. We might as well get Allo Alchemist down as well. That is also what could have been um. Let's see. Next attack, we will just go ahead and offer them a two for one here. Let me just keep the pressure on. So that's eight damage. That's seven. Um, we will just use this to two for one. I, mean, I guess it's two for two at that point, but our, our board states is not looking bad. We do get to draw with Wily pretty consistently. Let's see. I wonder what they're thinking. Sure, 5-5. Five, five. I don't think we have the best attacks because... We... I don't know if we use this to crew Wily or if we just all attack because this can saddle only a sorcery okay mm -hmm. uh, i think i'm fine with just drawing a card here and then next turn give everything trample kind of go for like a bigger swing Sure. Grofine, I think that'll be the end of their turn. Time to turn. If you put one or more counters on a creature you control, put that many plus one counters on it instead. I think this is that's saddle one. And then this, whenever mount controls attacks, creatures you control gain. So I think we just do this. We're going to saddle here, and we're going to pay the activation cost on this. And I don't mind just, like, full swinging here. So, yeah, it becomes a 6-2 trample. Everything has trample. They have... I should have done the math. They have 9, 11, 13 in toughness. Um, I don't know how much damage is going through. Let's see. 1 there. 7... This has trample seven. That's that's twelve exact. If they're blocking this way, they need to. Well, everything has trample, so I guess it doesn't. It seems like we're we we just win. Minus two. That is our first win.
We did it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Two drop Owl Alchemist seems like it's going to have to be. I think we will just... I think we'll just cast it. What's the, wor what's the, what's, what's the worst that could go wrong? Don't, don't look at him. He's a nice man. He's a nice... He's a nice plant warlock. I wonder, it's probably the first plant warlock in magic history. We're just going to go to combat. We don't have a second green source. I'm just, I'm just going to play a Wily Duke to do it, but I know they have a removal spell here that I guess I'm just baiting out. I am going against the Brony right now. Yeah, shoot the Sheriff. Yeesh. I, I needed some recursion spells. But that's okay. Bertram, whenever one of our tokens ETBs. So we can have that be a fight spell. Yeah, I'm more happy with this being a fight. I'm going to get rid of you, Bertram. Deal four, send you to 13. Then we have Lasso by the Law and we have Spinewoods Paladin ready to go. So we'll see what kind of removal action they have. Stagecoach, sure. I think I'm just uh I think I'm just lassoing by the law of this guy and just keep just gonna keep damage going in. Send you to ten. We're out of uh we're out of nice removal. But we'll see what they have with their four cards. Hopefully they're all uh all lands. Ooh. They do nothing. Let's see. Go to combat. Holy cow. Incredible. One top. Don't we don't like that. Okay, so they're gonna keep their guy. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cast my Spine Woods Paladin. So they're at nine. I have a 5-4 trampler. Seems nice. Seems pretty dope. I uh Oh, and a take up the shield. That's that's going to be really good. So we're going to swing with 8 Trample right now. Sure. I don't know if I want to take up the shield that. I feel like I, I feel like I let that go. Until they, they cast a spell to try dealing with something. That's going to be 6 damage going through. Unfortunate accident. No, buddy. It's unfortunate for you. That's why you hold it. You're at two, got a 6-5 Trampler, and you know what, we'll play our little Prairie Dog. Is that game, sir? Is that game? So they were holding an unfortunate accident last time. Got the big horn. Um, I think we just go to combat. No reason not to. Block and then a removal spell, I assume. Destroy attacking creature, sure. Okay. We're going to gain two life. We're going to play our big horn. See how much interaction they can possibly get. They need a creature and a removal spell at this point. I don't think they have both. Outlaw medic. Lifelink. Okay. Another prairie dog. Crew. I don't know if making a 1-1 is really worth it here. We can five. We can make this a four four if we don't play um, our other prairie dog. That's only if this thing dies. Let's go to combat attack both. We don't really need the one one. You can draw a card. You're gonna gain one. Resolve, and then it is at the beginning of your end step. So we're gonna activate. And that's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Yep, and that's game. That's our second game win. We're in silver tier 2. Let's see. Is that a hand we will keep? It's kind of slow. 
But if one goes first, let's see. Hy hydrate. Got some. Got some Mountain Dew. Got a little bit of Mountain Dew. Uh, do we need our one, two, three, fourth? Oh, we don't really need our fifth land. That's cool. Ever play Brawl? I don't play Brawl too much on Arena, but I do play um Commander in real life with friends. All right, we're gonna play our Allo Alchemist. Trying to control copy. Let's see if this works. Hope that does something. All right, back to the gaming. I play Commander IRL, but closest is Brawl on Arena. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. I mean, it kind of sucks that Arena only has um. 1v1 to begin with for commander so i'm not too incentivized to want to not really that incentivized to want to be playing brawl as when i can just play commander with the collection i already have Ooh, opponents are really ramping they're going to be really disappointed when they see this bird in the garden i'll tell you that much let's see we got to curve into the giant beaver let's get a skip What was that? What was that? Oh, was that that was just a, just a gotcha. False alarm, people. Okay, they're like completely tapped out, so doesn't really matter. Get the beeves down. We will wait for something to be in the graveyard for our shepherd of the clouds. I mean, it's a four-three flying vigilance. They're pretty low. They're gonna have to play some pretty gnarly thing. Bruce Tarl. These are attacks. Exile. I'll create a library if it's a land card. Otherwise. Okay, Journey to Nowhere, sure. You're gonna feel a little bad. Oh, I don't even need... I can just saddle. See you, Bruce. Gain an extra life there. And we have to take up the shield ready. Does this just stay exiled and they can use it? The exile's kind of nice. They have double black, they sure do. Exile the top part of your library. You may cast it until the end of your next turn. Okay, they play that giant nonsense thing, which I don't think we have the ward for. We do not have the ward for. It's kind of rough. Lifelink indestructible. Not enough. I mean, this will just ensure that we get the ward. So I think it's I think it's just important to play it out this way. We got a conduit pylon. Uh, no need to attack. They lost their removal spell. But I feel feel pretty good about the state of the board right now. Because this is, again, Ward 2. We will have 6. Outcaster will get bigger. They need to play another creature or something. We only have one white source. It's kind of an issue. Possum. Return any creature. That can be really good with the Shepherd. We'll keep that on top. I'm scared for what they could have here. Hmm. I think I just go for it, because if they have nothing, I just win. Target that. I could have some counter spells. Decisive denial. Sure. Serve okay, get rid of those two. Let's pay three. Oof. Well. I don't know, I could send them to... What, they just kill this dude? They take five. How do we feel about that? Return mana value three or less. Oh yeah, we're totally cool with this because we have Shepherd of the Clouds. Consuming Ashes, sure. That's a little rough. Oh, they're getting the Surveil so much. We put Outcaster back. Sure, they're down to three. We pass, we shepherd. Okay. They already used the counter spell. Just gonna play Shepherd of the Clouds. 
Pretty, pretty, please. Nice. Say you look tired. Get the prairie dog back. No attacks. Got another removal spell. Holy cow. Okay, well, at least we'll have Got no blocks. Let's see. What do they have for me? Let's go ahead. Can we do it? Deserts do surveil. Deserts do on this is a minus minus ability, so take up the shield won't help it either way. Sure, they got rid of a land. So minus six minus sixes. So next to blocks. Yeah, we will just let that chump. Let's see. Let's just go colorless green and colorless. The possum. I'm going to play white and green for prairie dog. Hold up or take up the shield. Rooftop assassin. Destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Sure. We'll play take up the shield. And now you have bad attacks. Okay. Spinewood armadillo. That's cool. So we can kind of attack. It's one tint on the turn. I'm cool with just full sending here. They might have some really nice stuff. This guy does not have trample. He just says reach and ward. It's kind of fine. It's one body down, and then I'm gonna. I got a counter. Essence capture. That's a little rough. How many, how many cards do you have left? Okay, four six. Sure. Uh, no blocks. Having Vigilant Flyers is so boring. Oh my god. Mm. No point in attacking. Let's activate this. Make him huge. Sure, no blocks. Got three cards. That's scary. Don't touch my prairie dog. Oh my god, the surveil. It's brutal. Just not having a removal spell for this is crazy. I need my lasso. I need to get that thing off the board. Okay. Oh, come on. Just hold. Hold the land, no attacks. Brutal. Come on. They're probably holding so much. Oversized muscle. Not the card I want. Having trample on everything could be nice. And then this says, whenever it attacks, get plus one, plus one. We can't afford to attack. I think they're just going to double attack here. Lasted by the law. Yikes. I think this is going to be a loss for us. Come on. Get rid of the 5-4. Oof. Indestructible intent of turn 2. How do I get around this? I have a flyer. So clearly, it's we have to get lassoed by the law. Is our out. We have to hit Sphinx. And then we have to swing in the air for 5. Which they might have a removal spell too. Let's see. Let's see. Lassoed, lassoed by the law. Gold rush. Not good enough. Just, yeah, it's really not good enough. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this sucks. If that, if that came earlier, that could have been pretty helpful. What you got for me, dude? You got the pressure. Yep. You, get, you just play any creature. Oh, brother. What, what else do I even have in the deck that I kind of want to draw? Not really much, tell you that. Spinewood's Paladin is actually what I would like to see. That'd be great. Opo's taking a think. Badlands, oh, brutal. That's game. Ouch. Stinky. It's cool. My green screen takes out how yellow it looks. That is a rough hand to keep. I'm going to take it because we're uh, on the draw. Because I can play Stur Stubborn Burrow Fiend. And then hopefully that'll be enough to kind of get us to where we need to be. Okay, that's land. That is land. Sure. Uh, we're keeping that up there. Highway robbery, sure. Let's get a little bit more aggressive in here. I can only stand for the weekend. Let's see. I'm going to try Miriam saddling here. Looks like they're going to go ahead and get rid of it before I can. Geyser Drake. Sure, I'll give that a good old whatever. Also got throw from the saddle. I don't think I need to throw from the saddle yet. Let's just get a plus one, plus one, and saddle. Submit three. What do we do? Yeah, just another throw from the saddle gone. Feels unfortunate. But we have take up the shield and throw from the saddle already. So I don't feel super terrible about that. And Geyser Drake is just kind of a really mid card. If they attack here, it's just like a full cue for me to go aggressive. And I think that'll be pretty easy to deal with. That's also apparently not that great of a card. Okay. We can outcaster. Now we need to throw from saddle here. Let me just make our man huge. Swing with both. 4-4 four, four, and a 3-2. And then we have a take of the shields ready to go. 5-5 five, five is going to be pretty hard for red to deal with, I think. Let's see what they got for us. They're going to have to... Ooh, attack would be super weird. Sure. Hmm. So we can get this. No, we want to keep our white. We're going to go green, green... Colorless for Outcaster. Okay, search. Okay, that's fine by me. Get pylons. Surveil another land. You one, two, three, four, five. I, I don't mind having another land. I think that'd be good. And then let's go ahead and crew. <laughs> Did we hit a creature yet? Nope. All right. Attack. Sure. Let's just pass turn. Make sure we got that take up the shield always. Opponent probably knows that we have that at this point. We're five to five cards. We got another... Rodeo Mercenary. Okay. Hmm, that's five. We can play Miriam so that when they attack, they all get larger. Okay, the punch just concedes. Sure, sure, sure. No white mana again, and I'm on the play. 
Mm-hmm. I think I still keep. Drawing into a white source would be awesome. Never lucky, but Serban Stur Burrowfiend's pretty pretty dope. Especially, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd Aloe Alchemist. I think so. Clearly my bot's kind of not working. Let's see if I can get my stream elements bot working right. Hmm. They did... Okay, enters the battlefield if you can choose your four draw card. Okay. I will just plot. Deal five. You got, a, you got a four power guy. The Grizzly would be good. Grizzly into Beast Bond Outcast would be pretty sick. I'm gonna need some throwing from saddles for sure. Humble, okay. That is good for us to throw some damage down. A blue source. Pretty strange. We still need to get that white mana for things to be kind of more efficient. Did not get the white mana. So I'm just going to throw from the saddle. Um... I feel like if I, I feel like if I do it, I'm just gonna lose the white source I've been looking for. But I think on on principle, you just you just do it for upside. You just wanna. Okay, no white sources. That's good. Got them at eleven to our twenty. I'm still expecting some big nonsense creatures to drop down. Spinewood's paladin. I can see coming down right here. Take up the shield would be great for that. Because both creatures will be able to kill it. Doc or lock. Plotting cards from your hand cost two less. I hope you're... If you don't plot something right now, that is a... Kind of a bad card to have played. Okay, they plot Spinewoods, I'm sure. I should have just played Spinewoods. And what is this? Oh, that is a lot of nonsense. Okay, we'll play, play that. I just want a white source. What's the number of creatures in your graveyard? I only have one. I guess I kind of don't. Mine being super fun for each other creature you control. Okay, so it's not going to be that big. So I will crew. Ah, gold rush. Seven damage coming in. I don't care about the Doc or Luck that much, so I'll offer this trade here. Oh, it's a bad block, but all right. So be it. Uh, you know what? I should have played Prairie Dog. That was my bad. Um, why would you, why would you play that one first? It's like, <laughs> it's like literally the last one you play. I feel bad. I just realized that this card is actually really nice with the Prairie Dog. Destroy all creatures of power greater than, okay. I can see that, I can see that. Um. Let's make this guy even bigger. Maybe I should have kept the Trampler. We'll see. With the Prairie Dog, it's going to be real big. Now, yeah, because now I have three creatures in the grave, so it's going to be attacking as a 7-7 seven, seven, as long as it's crude. And that was a good card. I was not expecting Fell the Mighty. Okay, that's also great. that but uh what i'm uh, oh, grizzly sure grizzly would have been nice sure 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 as you do as you do all right next 
Outlaw Medic, sure. I'm not liking them having so many chumpers, that's for sure. Tapping out. Let's see. Alright. My turn. Snakeskin Veil's great. My own Spinewoods Paladin. That's pretty cool. Just play him right now. And then... I don't really need to mill here. Just attack like that. Sure, get one, take four. It's your call, but ooh, what are you what are you about to do? Charlatan. He's got some instant speed interaction. Didn't want to draw a card, I guess. I'll definitely take five here from that thing. I hope he attacks, because if he attacks, I think that's uh, it's almost game, I think. Put a bonus on on each tar creature target player controls. Sure. I mean, I can still block and kill it. Hmm. I think I don't mind it in the position I'm in. White source. Okay. Oh, you know what? That could have been that could have been lethal with the prairie dog attacking. Sure you can draw a card. Yeah, that would have been lethal. Oh no, he's got lifelink. Resolve, sure. I'm gonna play because I have five six. Yeah, okay. Um why were you about to tap like garbage arena? Ability. Okay, that's a 4-4. Four, four. One zero and 2 at Geeky T tonight. Uh, did you play Jeskai Control? What is that? Okay, plotting for more trample damage. Sure, I kind of don't care. There's nothing that's going to do 5 extra damage. That's one card. So I'm kind of just chilling. Pass. No blocks. What you got for me, opponent? Yikes. Consider that a concede. Yep. Uh, I did play Jeskai Gear Hulk Control. I drew both times with a live Bane Slayer. Just couldn't close up. Yeah, I don't think you ever play Gear Hulk and Bane Slayer in the same deck. That's kind of what I was trying to like say. Cause like there's a there's a reason I guess there's like a reason why Control doesn't really play Gear Hulk and why the creativity lists are the ones that run it now. Cause they're just trying to get extra extra value off Sublime Epiphany. And I boarded Gear Hulk boarded out Gear Hulk for Bane Slayer. I mean yeah, I mean, Bane, Bane Slayer is just... You have to think about why people play that card in control lists. Um, I go first with this. And I kind of don't like it. I think I'll lose if I keep this. Bring Graveyard Hate and other shit, and you hit them with the Flying Life Linker. I mean, Graveyard Hate is not that good against control. The only thing you should you, Graveyard would care for is, like, uh, the Mnemonic Deluge. But other than that, there's, like, no point in bringing in Graveyard Hate... Um, against control whatsoever, in my opinion. It's kind of like a waste of a slot. You want to play, like, more two-for-ones and, like, things can that can build and get out of hand. Um, yeah, I think I just let them get an attack here. Get a white card. Get a white four white carter to make it three four next turn. I like the idea of a three four a lot, but no, it has to be a white card. And I'll just do no attack. One damage is fine. Opus wins games. I mean, sure. I don't 
it is just like a card that like makes that four for ones on its own for like a lot of mana but it's like i don't know unless you're like really getting gear hulk to do that all the time Ooh, that is a card okay no tax white source Okay, I have I have Wily Duke. Man, it's kind of rough. I don't like using Buried in the Garden for that. But I guess I have to. Target land. No need to attack. What you got for me? Oh, my timer finally works. Nice. Oh, what the heck? Ultic. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. For, like, immediately. I need a... Let's cast additional. What does this do again? An enchanted creature just tap for mana. Its controller adds an additional mana, one of any kind. Okay, nice. So that should work nicely for me. Scry one. Bottom, I dare you. Bottom, nice. Okay, no blocks. Not land. Okay. We'll do this, and then we will saddle. Yeah, because there's no... Yeah, I guess we kind of have to. Sorcery speed. Just do that. Back with a 2-3. How dare you? Well, it's, it's dead now. Unless they have all the graveyard recursion cards that they're in this set. I don't I don't think they're in the colors. I think they're all in black. Um, no, there is one in white. I think that can he can grab. Oh god. All right. Ooh, I need I need the um stubborn brofin too. Yikes. I think the opponent's going to get me. I don't think I'll be able to outvalue this. What I have in the bin to throw from the saddles. Saddle, sure. Wish I wish I picked up trained Erinx. Forgot what I picked instead of it. What a gnarly card. I think I I think I just yeah just double prairie dogs start making these guys grow. Nice. Ah, do I give them Wily Duke? I don't think so. I think I just hold my snakeskin veil. Hope to get my prairie dogs super huge. Am I just not casting any more spells on my turn? Because they'll both become 4-4s four if I use their, their ability. Let's keep that ankle biter as like a little bit of pressure. I'm probably going to take too much damage from this Erinx, unfortunately. It's got four fours, though. Flying. That's not good. Nice. No attacks. We love it. Fug. A land. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. No attacks. And turn. Throw from the saddle. Yeah, for me. Sure. Sure. Lassoed by the law. I 
gain so much life right now, but I think the flyer is kind of an issue. I don't know. I kind of want to just take the airing out. Guys, what do you what do you think? Just swing in with nine life linking. This one is not. This is not the one that has flash. Mm. Yeah, that's true. But if they have a, if they also have a snake skin veil, that'll be pretty rough as well. They have some other combat trick. It feels they can take one of my prairie dogs with the gold rush ability. Man, where are all my mounts so I can actually get cards from Wily Duke? Okay. Back to 20 it is? I'm thinking they're going to play something gnarly. They're one mana away from the, from the Spinewoods Armadillo. They're looking. They're thinking about it. They're pretty far behind. Good game. Good game, opponent. We're in silver one. W's in the shot. We're four W's four one right shot. now, I believe. Okay. We really need lands. I'm gonna keep this since we're on the draw. Yeah, we really need to curve out with this hand. What uh what decks did you go up against for your for Ooh, Bucolic Ranch, nice. No two drop. Got a Miriam down. Still need to hit a land. Really need to hit a land right now. Congregation Griff. Not a land, but that's we're gonna want to take out the Griff anyhow. Mono Blue Spirits, Curious Obsession. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to play that card. Abzan Grindfest. Hey, Zeus with the Abzan deck. And then you beat Burn. Hey, hey, what's up, The Last Blackbird? How you doing? Oh, no. That's kind of like an early Mystical Tether, in my opinion. Finally, a land. That's nice. Go ahead and put Drover Grizzly down. Oh yeah, he did, uh, the one that runs the uh, Abzan Rhino or what's it called Siege Rhino. Hell yeah, man, that's great. We're just trying to get some limited legs here. We're doing pretty good in OTJ right now. Let's see. We can uh, can't play too much here. Just gonna go to combat and see what's good. See what's good. Now in the Veil Siege Rhino Bankbuster. I'm pretty sure he, he threw like. Does he not have like energy cards in that list too? I know you brought that to an RCQ. I just never played him with it. Okay, I think I'm just going to put Prairie Dog down, even though it kind of don't make no sense. This is Saddle 1. Um, eh. I should have tapped it as one green to signify having um, Snakeskin Veil. Ooh, Wily Duke. I know it well. What do I have to combat that? I guess I can just lasso it away. It's probably the move. Cause that card is that card is really good. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Don't want you to draw. No, they have the snakeskin veil. That's really bad. That's really bad. I didn't think about it. Should have thought about it. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We can't do that. We're just getting... Next combat. You're not going to block with that. And I'm willing to bet. <laughs> the sweat emoji. You ain't going to block. Oh, God, he blocked it. Well, that's ultimately good for me. We got some 
should to play. The giant beaver goes crazy with Miriam. What do we think, opponent? No spells. Absolutely insane. Get a beaver down. Tease that we have snakeskin veil now, because we definitely do. Um, go to combat. I should have I should have gave this to something before I went. Pre combat looking real okay. A possum. Let's go ahead and get all of our damage in here. They're at six. We're about to make a six six. Oh no, that puts it on something else. Okay. We have five. And so next turn, if you put a plus one plus one counter, increase. Hmm. I can. Give it five crew attack and not spend any of my my stuff. Let's see. Plus two, plus three. Plot. Get to my gal, Miriam. Oh, the saddle is three. Whoops. That's fine. We have take up a shield ready to go to on oh, target creature that settled it all right that's a lethal amount of damage you're going down to one buddy and that's game we are moving through silver this is a, a pretty good hand Pick your poison and some other wonky silver bullets. How wonky could they be? I don't know how I feel about that land. Go ahead, hit me with the burrow fiend. Bristle, sure. I feel pretty good about what's about to happen here. Grover Grizzly. Let's see. What what do we land? Yeah, I think we're okay keeping the land. Let's put the grizzly out. This time bigness for the both of us. So true, so true. Saddle one, no problem, no attacks. Let's see. Another hard bristle bandit. Weird. Saddle two. Whenever it attacks. And then this just gives everything. Attacks with a plus one plus one. And that's kind of fine. I don't mind losing this. So saddle one. Go ahead and do that. What deck are we playing? We are playing a white green Selesnia mount deck in Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba. Sure. Five four trample. Five three trample. It just lets me lets me have it. All right. I like the sound of that. I'm wondering what they're gonna do here on literally a billion mana. Okay. We got another green. Bring it to your friends. Let's see. Vigilance. Much obliged. Yeah, sure. Whenever. Okay, so I'm going to. Crew here. Saddle it here as well. Gain a life draw card. Oh, so nice. Oh, it's sorcery speed, and I have to. Wait. Then it deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Let's go. I'm a genius. Get wrecked. I'm literally the most brilliant man you've ever met. That's game. That is too that is too much value. That is too much value. W's in the shot. W's in the I, shot. 
I do apologize. Oh, nice. Okay. I thought he was about to play a board wipe when I saw I do apologize. Well, we are now in gold. We, uh, and that is a 7-1 draft right there. 